Hello and welcome to this short training video on Quizcom custom actions. In this video we'll learn how to overwrite the out of the box edit item button and display a different edit item button according to context. In our SharePoint lab environment we'll go to the IT help desk list and our goal for this video is to make sure that if a ticket is already assigned, if a user tries to edit it, it will go back to the status of new because too many users are editing tickets while a support technician is working on them. So if I go to the list, I will go to the Quizcom custom action settings, go to the item custom actions, and then I'll create a new item action called edit ticket and click on add action. I will go lower, I will make sure to use this action as a default edit item form. However, I only want it to apply to a certain SharePoint group, which I'll go search, which is called Help Desk Customers. I'll click on Add, and I'll make sure that also this condition only applies when the issue status equals assigned. Perfect. Add the condition. Now, because we want to edit this item when we click the button, I'll click on the edit list item. I will keep the same content type. However, I will change the assign to not be assigned to a new user anymore. And I will also reset the issue status to new. That is perfect. And also to redirect the user to the item that has been edited, I will redirect on complete to the view item token which will bring the user to the item in view mode. Perfect. I will click on OK. Perfect. Now we'll go to the IT help desk list and let's try it out. The current user that I'm logged in as called administrator is part of the help desk customers group. So this user should be able to trigger this custom action. If I go to an item that is new, I should not see it because we only said we want to see it when the issue status is assigned. However, if I go to this computer not working, which is assigned, as you see the item action edit ticket appears. However, since I'm a an user, I usually use the edit item, the default button and not always the custom action. So I'll click on the edit item. As you see, the ticket got changed to the issue status new and not assigned to anybody anymore. And now I can simply edit my item and then add a detail, for example, change it to monitor not working. And this will make sure that a ticket goes back to the queue and the new help desk technician can get it as well as see the updated problem. This should not apply to support personnel because we want them to be able to still edit items. So I'm now logged in as support one. I'll go to the IT help desk list. And I have the second ticket called PC not working. I'll go on the PC not working help desk item. I'll click on edit item. And since I'm not in the help desk customer group, I'm able to change it. For example, let's say put close, add some details and everything will work properly. That is perfect. So in this short training video, we learned how to override the default out of the box edit item with an item doing a custom action and depending on who opens that item and clicks the edit button.